to its traffic. In this video, we are going to discuss about flowchart. Flowchart, flowchart is the graphical representation of the algorithm. Algorithm means it is a well-defined steps to do any computer program. Now, to draw before learning drawing flowchart, we have to know the meaning of some symbols. These symbols are first one is oval. Oval is a uh, this way in oval it's defined start or stop of the flowchart so from here we can define start or stop of a flowchart after that comes parallelogram symbol in parallelogram symbol we can take input or output for the program this one we use for input and output purpose so input and output after it next symbol is rectangle rectangle we use to process suppose in our program we have to do some calculation at that time we use rectangle it is used for process after it next symbol is diamond shape diamond shape is used for making decisions this one for making decision or conditions like suppose uh, we have some condition in our program now we are writing a program there we are allowing only the person who are above 18 to enter in our software or in our program so for that we are checking the age if age is greater than equal to 18 then we allowed otherwise we don't allow at that moment we use this symbol decision now let's us uh, try to draw a flowchart in our flowchart we will try to add two numbers we'll draw a flowchart to add two numbers so our first symbol will be oval we will draw a oval symbol and inside the oval symbol we will write start after writing start, we will have to take two variable. For that, we will use process symbol, means rectangle symbol. We will draw a rectangle, and that rectangle symbol we will write inside that two variable let a b sum. We are taking three variables a, b, and sum. We will have two number a and b, and we will add this two number and store in sum and we will have to link these two symbols together or two shapes together by using arrow symbol from the first oval shape to the rectangular shape we will join it okay so this way we will do after that we have to take input for a and b for that we will take one parallelogram symbol and we will draw it after drawing the parallelogram, we will take input for A and B. So we will write input A comma B. Again, we will have to join these two symbols by using arrow mark. So we will take arrow mark and we will draw this. After drawing it, we will have to calculate the numbers. So we will have to take process symbol and we will draw the process. And here we will write sum equal. A plus B. After that, we will have to link both the shapes. So we'll draw a arrow symbol, and after that, we'll have to display the result means output. For that, we'll again draw a parallelogram, and here we'll write print sum. So our program almost our flowchart is almost finished just we have to link and one more oval symbol to indicate the stop of the program so we'll take oval set and draw one oval here and we'll also have to join so we'll take arrow symbol and we'll join this shapes together and inside the shape we will write stop so this way we can 
have a flowchart to add two numbers. Now next do a flowchart which is included in your book. Let's go to your books exercise questions. Here question number 4a. Let's zoom the page a little bit. Uh, Where question floor A, 4A, draw a flowchart to find a larger number from two given numbers. Means already we have two numbers and we have to find out the larger number. So for that, we have to write, uh, we have to take, the flowchart will be similar to this one only, but we will have to also use conditions. So let's go to a new page. So we'll keep it up for drawing flowchart uh, first we'll take an oval symbol for it we are taking an oval and we'll write it here start after drawing the oval we'll have to take two numbers for that we'll take process so we'll draw a rectangle after that, we'll have to take input two numbers. For that, we'll take parallelogram. Again, after that, we'll have to take condition like whether the number is greater or not. For that, we'll take diamond shape for making decisions. After that, After it, we'll have to display the output. We'll have two outputs depending on our condition. So we'll take two parallelogram, one here and one right hand side. Done. Now we'll have to draw the arrow marks and we'll also have to write the things whatever we'll have to write inside. First, let's draw the arrow marks arrow symbol that first one arrow mark the next arrow mark is here then again one more uh, arrow mark it will connect the parallelogram with the diamond shape one more pair, uh, arrow mark it will connect the diamond shape with the parallelogram again one more it will connect the diamond shape with the another parallelogram sorry yes and after that we'll have the stop symbol so we'll draw the oval again so here we'll give us stop now at in this box we'll take two variables so we'll take let a b and here we'll input a and b so we'll write input a b and here we'll compare a and b so we'll write if a greater than b if it's then we will print a is greater Otherwise, we will print B, so we will write it here, print B is greater. Now again we will have to also write yes and no because when the condition comes true, then we will display this output. So we will write it here, yes. That means when the condition is true and if the condition is false then we will display as false or display this output. So we will write it here no. That means if it is 
yes if a is greater than b it will display print a is greater if it is not it will display b is greater after that again one more arrow symbol is uh, required to stop the program so we will connect this parallelogram and the oval shape and one more arrow mark to connect this par uh, parallelogram with this stop symbol I think we have to take multiple lines here to draw it. So we will take a straight line. We will draw the line. And after that we will take one more arrow mark. and we will draw it. So let's take the arrow mark and join it with the oval set. So this way we can draw this program. As you can see here, this is for question number 4a. Draw a flowchart to find largest number from two given numbers. So this will be the answer. Now let's come to question number b. Here also draw a flowchart is given, also asking solution strategy. Here we have three numbers. That means we will have to take uh, more conditions. So let's do this program. We are going to modify this program only. So as we have three numbers, we'll have also C and in condition we will write like if a greater than B and we will write A greater than C. If this happens, if A is greater than D and A is greater than C, then what will happen? So let's remove it. This also at present not required. I'm removing the unnecessary part from the program now. If it happens, it will be yes. So see, at first we are writing start. After that, we are taking three variable ABC. Then we'll take input of ABC. Then we will check the condition if A is greater than B and A is greater than C. If yes, then we will write print A is greater. Now next condition, if it is no, then. So we will write it here, no then we will we will have one more dimension that delete this line also then we'll have one more condition so we'll take one more dimension we'll draw the dimension and also we will join it with a line and here we'll write condition is if now we'll do with b b greater than a and b greater than c then what we will do we will do the same thing print b is greater so we'll have a parallelogram for displaying output and we'll write it here print b is greater okay now with the help of arrow line we will join this to symbol as i am drawing it in laptop that also with help of a mouse so it's a bit difficult to arrange the symbol if it is in tablet or touch screen it's quite easier now the last condition for c so if both condition will be true uh, sorry both condition will be false it means if a is not greater even b is not greater then automatically what happens c will be greater so we will write directly no 
third condition is not necessary only so we can directly take parallelogram we can draw it here we can write it here c print c is greater there might be more possibilities but we are doing the flowchart in a simple manner like sometimes the three numbers might be same at that situation no number will be greater but uh, as you are now new learner so we are not making the flowchart more complex we are making it in a simpler way so here also the condition is will be no means if if this condition is true then print a if b is greater than b and b is greater than c then print b is greater and if both the condition are false then c is greater now after that we will have to stop the program isn't it for that we will draw a stop symbol oval and we can draw it here also so we'll write it stop and we will join these symbols here so first we are drawing a line to join the stop stop symbol with the parallel after it this uh, one also we will join it with the stop symbol with the help of line that lines are known as flow lines we need one more arrow line so this way we will join and this symbol will also have to be joined with the stop symbol so we will draw the line first after it one arrow line and we will join it here so this way we can do this program you can see here this one this is answer of question number 4b find the greatest number from three given given numbers now we will go to question number c design an algorithm to find smallest of n given numbers and write pseudo code for the same draw a flowchart to represent the solution strategy now here at first program we have two numbers from there we are finding the greatest number second program we have three numbers from there we find out the greatest number but here we have to find the smallest number from we have to find the smallest number from the n given numbers means the numbers how many numbers are there that we don't know this is n it can be three numbers it can be four numbers or it can be more so this already it is in book i will show you in here this one in book it's given for largest but uh, in book asks for the smallest one so you will write start smallest equal first number and you will write is there more numbers then it will be same only get the next number and here you will write smallest equal current number and here you will write is current is current number smaller than the smallest so this flowchart only we can have for doing question number 4c and the rest questions today in this video we have done question 4a b and c we'll do question d e f or the rest of the question in another video i hope you have understood how to draw flowchart thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye